So what's going on guys, it's JM at Speedboxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel before you click onto any video. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions and what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a sub or two on my channel. So this Saturday night, you've got IBF Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Javonta Davis, travelling to the UK to make his first defence of his world title against his mandatory challenger, British fighter Liam Walsh in his own backyard and this is a very interesting fight you got Javonta Davis 18 fights 18 wins 17 knockouts the youngest world champion in boxing I think he's what only 22 23 years old and he's promoted by Floyd Mayweather Jr he's Floyd Mayweather Jr's protege so to speak and he beat Jose Pedraza in his last fight to become the IBF champion and that fight was meant to be Liam Walsh's fight but obviously he's with Floyd, so Floyd managed to work his magic and managed to get the shot for Davis first, but he had to give Walsh the fight. After all that, he had to give Walsh first crack, and that's exactly what they're doing here. And a lot of people are saying, oh, Javonic Davis will just walk through Liam Walsh. Who's Liam Walsh? Like a lot of American fans, a lot of hardcore American fans don't even know who Liam Walsh is. And that's because Liam Walsh is a very under-the-radar fighter. Like, he fights with Frank Warren, he fights with Frank Warren's promotion, Greensboro, and he fights on lower level shows for Frank Warren. Well, all of Frank Warren's shows are kind of lower level, hashtag Black Curtain, but he fights on the smaller ones. But he's a very good fighter, Liam Walsh, I think. He's a very good operator, like, he is talented. He's fought everyone domestically, he's fought fringe world level guys in his last fight. He fought a very highly rated fighter in Andrei Klimanov and managed to knock him down and basically win every round in the fight but we don't know how good Liam Walsh is because he's never stepped up at world level he's 31 years old he's been in the game for a while now Liam Walsh about pff, nine years or something like that he's been a professional I think it might even be longer and yeah this is like first step up this is his first crack at a world title and I'm slightly favouring Javonta Davis in this fight anyway because Javonta Davis has stepped up to world level and he proved that he can mix it at world level because he beat well he beat Jose Pedraza, the guy Liam Walsh was meant to fight. But we'll see how good Liam Walsh is on Saturday night. Can he beat Javonta Davis? Can he say, look, I'm world level. I've just beaten the next supposedly top guy in the sport. So that's what Liam Walsh is setting out to prove on Saturday night. And Javonta Davis is a very aggressive fighter. He likes to come forward and he demands you respect straight away he likes to come and hit you with them clean power shots and usually when guys get hit and feel the power from Javonta Davis they tend to backpedal things start to go downhill from them because he hit very hard at super featherweight and when they feel the power they just don't really want to know and that allows Javonta Davis to just get on top of guys and start and to step the gas up in the fight and then he usually gets the victory we got Liam Walsh Liam Walsh is a good fighter he's very good at fighting at mid range he's a very good fighter at range and he's very good moving in and out of range he's got very good footwork Liam Walsh he's a very good counter puncher as well he's very slick and I'm thinking Javonta Davis will have to use a little bit of boxing skill in this fight he can't just come forward against Liam Walsh and just try and bomb him out of there because I think that won't work I think Liam Walsh will just counter him all night if he does that I think he'll have to use his brain a little bit in this fight Javonta Davis and be crafty with his power like throw shots Liam Walsh don't see and try and get him out of there like that because if he just goes in there and just tries to walk through Liam Walsh I don't see that happening for him I see that backfiring because Liam Walsh is a very smart fighter and that's why I'm not writing him off and I don't think Javonta Davis should as well because Floyd Mayweather and Javonta Davis are kind of overlooking Liam Walsh Obviously because they think they're just on another level. Javonta Davis has already said this. But they need to give Liam Walsh some kind of respect. The guy has managed to get himself into this position. The guy is a good boxer. They must have seen this on tape. Like You can't say to me Liam Walsh is not a good boxer. Yeah, he might not be an elite boxer. He might not be a Floyd Mayweather Jr. But he's a good boxer who deserves respect. And I think Javonta Davis needs to give him the respect and try to beat him in a more crafty way than just walking in there and trying to expect to blow him out because that could backfire on him 
But anyway, this is my breakdown of this fight. Comment below your opinion on this fight. Who have you got winning? Have you got Giovanni Davis? Have you got Liam Walsh? Tell me in the comment section. It's JM, it's Speedboxing.